Good evening, my friends. This is Yancey. I'm up down in the laboratory working on such and whatnot. Putting's been an issue. I know it's about the triangulation, and I know there's some standard deviations, and I did my plot boxes and boxes and found my outliers, got rid of them. I went with the triangulation, okay? Now, if you look up here, my ball's out of the way here. I'm going to give you a little, uh, let's see, hold on. Anyway, I don't want to mess it up, so just look up ahead of us here. we on a putting mat. There's two holes there. Two holes. There's one, and there's two. We're trying to make the first one, and we're going to go and triangulate it with the swing sock on the left. Brass pyramid in the back left and over here in the corner we got uh, my uh, super scope so those are all audio visual aids and whatnot and I have triangulated it I had to use scotch tape and old cocktail stirs from restaurants and golf clubs and whatnot I'll take you up on a tour of that but I want to show see if my theory works on the triangulations and such so let's do it at it By the way, I'm trying out this hockey stick. I got it at the dollar store and whatnot. You know, we, we try to keep it on the down low, keep it on the cheapies. Yeah, but I'm intrigued by this because I think it's going to help you putt on the WGT because one of these is flat like a like a swing meter and whatnot. So, uh, okay, so we're going to get set up here. Hold on. There's our guy. In that. Okay. Gonna hit. Uh, top flight XO. See now it goes under. Take up a little arch, why not? There we go. Beta test one. Ooh. Beta test two. How you like me now? Number three. Well, all right, three didn't work out too well. Now. Three done tore up the whole triangulation and whatnot. But we got this one ball here. It does say damn it to hail on it. And it's from another WGT player called Opie Euclid. He's a fine man, common man, enjoys the game and such. And I'm going to try to put this ball into this chaotic mess up here and see if uh, if we can get it in it too. I'll be happy. Watch this. I hope you could told me that ball was magic. What not? Hallelujah. I mean, sure it may look easy, but I mean, all of them things could have ended up anywhere and whatnot. If you think of the scientific and you do the math, what not. Now, I think this may be the key to improving your swing meter because you got to move it flat, way flat. 
don't know. But uh, I wanted to show you these over here, what we got, what we are using up here. It says, uh, dang camera, it says, uh, the Sand Trap at Gearheart Golf Club. It's a little golf club drinkster and whatnot. Uh, oh no, that's some kind of four. Hold on, people. Stay with me now. Stay with me. I don't know. We got one called the Chicken Wang. Elks. Hmm. You well, know, I guess that's all the golf one that there was and such. Uh, we got one of those that says, where'd it go? It says bourbon. Alright. I'm on my sobriety token and whatnot, but we got this, uh, and this is something Yancey likes. Maybe y'all want to take a look at and read it and such. The levels of actualization for a human. You start with the physical comfort. And you move up to security, social acceptance, personal esteem, self-realization, baby. These are Maslow's uh, hierarchy of need, if y'all done the book reading and such. And uh, We ain't going to go there tonight, but I found this experiment to be very informative, very helpful. I think we figured out a lot using all these tools and such, you know. You, um, you got to do the work to figure this stuff out, and it's all. Now, my name's Yancey. Been up too late. Ain't had no Folgers. I'm going to eat uh, uh, I got I got a half a pepperoni pizza, and I'm out. All right. See you up on the WGT.com.